certainly the ethical hacker is happiest, I think, when we see, well, beyond open authentication, which we can never really hope for, because that would just be a godsend. We hope for manufacturer-specific wireless security. We hope for some solution that we find that's actually implemented just by the manufacturer, not a standards-based security solution, not one that's been widely analyzed and widely scrutinized. There's a lot of wireless manufacturers, and I'm not going to name them by name, but they have specific security technology built into their access points that's unique to their company, and they sell it as a, as a benefit, but unfortunately what it means to them is that there's plenty of vulnerability because of the lack of peer review, because of the lack of testing often is the case. So as an attacker, the first thing I do is look for this kind of non-standard technology. I'll look at what the manufacturer IDs are for the wireless access points. I'll start looking up the models and the information about them. If that manufacturer does use this kind of manufacturer-specific wireless security technology in any of their models, I'll start probing for that. I'll start Googling for vulnerabilities based on that manufacturer technology. And almost universally, I will find some that I can try to exploit. May not be enabled or they may not be vulnerable. That's fine. But again, bringing strength against weakness, this is going to be the weak area of anything beyond an open network. Also, typically, these types of manufacturer-specific security implementations in the wireless space are not immune to new attacks. So while a lot of the standards uh, are constantly probed and attacked and analyzed by academics and security companies, and those results are published, and then the more careful manufacturers release a patch or an update or update the standard perhaps to, to accommodate for that, these kinds of new attacks, when they are manufacturer-specific, often go unnoticed. And if they're noticed, they often go unpatched for weeks or months or years. Ethical hackers love that because we just waltz right in through it before the patch has a time to make its way to the company.